it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a much requested video on how I mail out my cards. So we're going to go over the different card sizes and what size and style envelope I use for each of those. Um, I'm also going to talk to you about what stamps I use and just how I package everything up. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I did also want to mention that it is raining today. It's been raining for days and days. Um, it actually snowed yesterday, um, but other than that, it's been a lot of rain. So if you hear that in the background, um, that, that might be possible. But anyway, I'm just going to set everything off to the side, and we will start with the standard size cards. So for standard size cards, the envelopes that I like to use are from Gina K Designs. And I always use colored envelopes. I don't even have any white envelopes. I just think it's so much fun to um, have the recipient open up their mailbox and see this brightly colored envelope. It's a clear sign that this is happy mail. It is not another bill or, you know, something else. It's going to be something fun when you open it up. So that's why I use colored envelopes. Um, I just love them personally and I buy them in a whole variety of colors because I like to have plenty so that I can pick out whatever envelope I think is going to match the card front the best. And they're really inexpensive as well. I believe these cost like three dollars or around three dollars depending where you buy them. I have always bought mine on Butterfly Reflections Inc but um, I know that she has been out of stock on a lot of the colors lately, so um, they are also available at Gina K Designs directly, but um, they come in so many more colors than the shades that I've got. Um, I just have like a sampling um, of my favorites, but I always love adding new colors to my collection. So whenever I have a card ready to be mailed out, I just go through and kind of choose one that I think is going to work well. So I'll just hold it up against it like this one would look really pretty with the green as well. That would pull out that. Um, also the aqua would look really nice or the purple or I could go with a yellow. I don't have one pulled out but the yellow would have also looked nice. Um, so it really just depends. I thought the pink was really pretty because it went with the little pink flowers there. So that's the one I paired this one up with right now. But any of those selections would do. And I just like always, it's part of the fun is getting to choose the envelope that I think is going to match the best. And the same for this one. Um, I paired this one up with a hot pink envelope, but it would also go with the green. It could go with... Um, the orange would look really nice with that as well or also the yellow would have looked good but I just really liked the hot pink um, the best I just thought that complemented it the most and also if you notice on all of my photos on Instagram and also on my YouTube thumbnails when I take my pictures of my cards I always put an envelope behind the card to just add a little pop of color to kind of frame up the card on the photo so that's another reason that I really love these colored envelopes I just think they're fantastic for both of those things. They do double duty for me. So, so let's go through all the different envelopes and the different sizes because different sizes I have from different companies. And then at the end, I'll show you how I package up the cards. So um, I'll just set these off to the side next and we'll go to um, mini slim lines. So for mini slim lines, I have a couple here that I had laid out. And once again, I just chose the color that I thought looked the best, but I had a whole variety to choose from. These greens would have looked really pretty. The yellow would go with this one as well, or the aqua. Um, and these envelopes are from Tailored Expressions, and they come in a pack like this. So you get an assortment of rainbow colors. There's one in each shade. So there's um, a red, a light pink, a hot pink, 
an orange, a yellow, a light green, a darker green, a light aqua, a darker aqua, and a purple. So th that is what comes in this pack. Um, and again, these are from Tailored Expressions. That's the only thing that I have ever bought from that site, but I am really happy with these and they fit fit these mini slimline cards really well. You can see there's just a little bit of room on the outer edges, which is perfect because you know you want there to be just a little bit of room so that you can slip your card down inside and it fits really nice and snug. So that is what I use for the mini slimline size. Next we'll go to the regular slimline. And these are the envelopes that I use for that. And these are also a set which is from Picket Fence Studios. They come in this little box. And um, once again, just like the Tailored Expressions ones, you get an assortment of colors and you get one of each. So there you are. There's all of the colors that you get. Um, so there's a red, a darker pink, a lighter pink, kind of like a tomato soup orange, a lighter orange, yellow, a light green, an aqua, a darker purple, and a lighter purple. And I believe I may have used one out of this package. There might have been also a darker green. I'm not 100% sure. Um, oh, sorry. This is also from the pack. So there was also a darker yellow, and there was also a darker turquoise. So I'm thinking that I used the darker green. I think there was two of each shade. Sorry, I just put that back in so that it kind of tucked into that one. But I think there was a light and a dark of each shade and I ended up using the darker green. So I believe that there is one more in this set here from Picket Fence Studios. Um, the one thing that I'm not as much of a fan of, of from these is that they are a little bit bigger than I would like. I prefer a little bit of a tighter fit whereas these there is um, tons of room. There's like I would say like a half an inch of extra room by the size that I make but you know slimline cards they come in different sizes and really it's it's not that bad especially if you tuck an extra piece of cardstock in there which I will talk about later on when I talk about how I pack my cards up but um, anyway these are the ones I use I think they are really good quality and uh, yeah so we will move on to the last size now which is the square cards. I don't make a ton of square cards and unfortunately I haven't been able to find the envelopes in a really good quality and a good color selection for the size that I make. Um, and I make, let's see, the usual size I make is four, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Um, so the envelopes that I use, these are just from Amazon and the only color that I have is Craft and they're not a great quality. They're fairly flimsy. The nice thing is they do come with like a self-adhesive um, kind of sticker that you can remove. You remove the backing sheet and you can close it up and that way you don't have to lick it or get it wet with something. But they are very, very thin. It's like as thin as a paper bag that you would get at the store. Um, but for now, that's all that I've been able to find in the size that I want because, like I said, I don't like a ton of extra room inside my envelopes and these fit really well. Um, the other ones that I've seen on Amazon that come in colors are way too big. They're, I think, made for maybe like a 6x6 inch card, which is bigger than I would like. So, um... These ones usually fit pretty snugly in there, which is how I like it. And then just to protect the envelope, I do also put in the cardstock, which I will talk about. Um, but uh, yeah, I would not recommend these highly, but for now they do the job. And so I'm glad that I have them for that purpose. 
So when I mail out my cards, I do always tuck in an extra piece of cardstock. And there's a couple reasons why I do this. Let me grab one so I can show you. Um, but I just take like cheap white cardstock. I just use like the Georgia Pacific brand from Walmart, something really inexpensive because basically when the recipient gets this, they're most likely going to throw it away. It's just something to protect the front of your card. So um, because I use stickles, which stickles doesn't really come off very much, but maybe if you had like Distress Oxide inks or some other kind of embellishment sometimes they will have a little bit of residue that might transfer and so that gives that one level of protection for that um, also if you have any kind of bulky embellishments or if you have things that are like popped up on an extra level that extra piece of cardstock is going to make your cards a little more flat when they go through the machine um, that sorts the mail so that um, you know they don't get kind of hung up on stuff you know so that doesn't snag in the machine also I always only use one level of foam tape for any cards that I mail out and this is the foam tape that I use it is the scotch 3m foam tape and it is fairly thin. You can see that it is, um, I'm not sure how thick it is, but it is not very thick at all. And I always make sure that I only have one level of foam tape on any cards that I'm going to send through the mail. Um, if I have more than one level of foam tape, which is rare, then I usually save that card for hand delivery. Like if it's a, for a family member or friend that I'm going to see in person, I save those cards for them. Or if I were really determined to send out a card that had more than one level of foam tape, like a, like say a shaker card or something where you need thicker or a slider card or anything like that where there's just more than one level of the foam, then um, I, I would mail that completely differently. I would actually put that in like a soft padded mailer and I would take it to the post office and have them weigh it because um, that's the only way that it's going to probably get there safely. But for any cards like this with only the one level of foam tape, you can see there that everything that is popped up is on the same level. The grass is on the same level as these trees. The elephant is on the same level as well. The two elephants in the back are flat. This butterfly is these are all popped up to the same level of foam tape. So hopefully you can see that. So I will take a piece of cardstock and I will just tuck that into the envelope. And then it kind of makes just like a little section there, a little pocket that I can tuck my card into. Just make sure that nothing gets hung up on there as I slide it in. Like that tree, see that tree got stuck on there so I just have to be careful how to how to you know put that in there we go so, and then I just slide that in and then I can close that up and I can well I would address it before I put the card in usually um, but anyway you can see that it is now nice and flat there are no bumps in there that you can see so there's nothing to really get hung up on the machine everything is really flat and smooth and uh, same for this one I'll just do the same because again we've got these little pointy areas with the flag banner this one is mostly flat because of that but because of those little edges that could be something that could get hung up through the machine and so again I do it you know the only time I don't put the card stock in is if I have a completely flat one layer card which is very unusual for me but anyway that one slid, slid in much nicer because everything was um, you know it was just that main piece that was popped up plus the sentiment but that is also you can see it is nice and flat there are no bulges in there at all nothing that is going to get hung up on the machines. So let's talk stamps next.
So I already mentioned that one area where I like to have fun with my mail that I'm sending out is to have the colored envelopes. I think that just makes for a more cheery presentation. But another way that I do that is with my stamps. I have a whole collection of stamps. I love to get different ones. And I think it's really fun to base them on either the season or uh, the card or the color of the envelope. Um, so like for the elephant card that I just tucked in there, I would obviously use one of the elephant stamps. And um, I think that would be cute. For the bunny one, I would probably go with like one of the florals. Maybe this one here or any of these would be pretty, but especially these three because those colors were on the front of the card as well. Um, and this may be a little bit extra for some of you. Some of you might not care, but to me, it's just another way to have fun with it. Um, if, if the card didn't have something that matched any of my stamps, I might go with these because those match really well to either of the, um, the envelopes. And these are all just forever stamps. Um, these ones in the back are not, so we'll talk about those in a minute. But all of these are just the forever stamps. So any of these are just the standard um, postage that you would use. And that's all I use for my cards. I never have to pay extra. I've never had a card get sent back. I've never had anybody have to pay extra. And that is because I try to keep my cards on that one level of foam tape and always use that cardstock to help flatten the surface of the envelopes out. And I've never had a problem. I've been mailing cards like this for over 10 years and I've never had a single issue. So I just use the regular standard postage for all of my cards that I send out. Um, the only time that I use something different is if I'm sending an international card, then obviously I will use an international stamp. I have Christmas ones and I have everyday ones. Unfortunately with these, they don't have as much variety. They usually only have one set of these per year and one set of the Christmas ones per year. So, you know, there's not a lot of options there. It pretty much has to be one or the other. Um, and then if you are mailing out, if you are mailing out a, uh, a mini slimline. It is the same. It is just the standard postage right here. Any of these work for the mini slimline. And if you are mailing out a regular size slimline, which is also called a business size, this is also just standard postage. That is all you need. You do not need any extra fancy stamps for any of those things, this will do as long as you follow the tips that I told you. And again, like for a card like this, because there are like sections where it dips down and goes up because the frame has popped up, I would again cut down a piece of cardstock to fit and put that in the card. And it should be pretty smooth after that because everything is still on that one layer of foam tape. But the times when it is different is when you're mailing a square card. A square card is completely different. You do need special postage for that. And it is these butterfly stamps. I believe these are the only ones right now. Or you could just take it in and have them weigh it and, you know, pay the postage. But if you want an actual stamp, I believe this is the only one. It is the non-machinable uh, stamp there. And it says that right down at the bottom. And that is what you need to mail the square cards. So I have those for that. But I don't mail that many square cards. I don't make that many in the first place. But um, when I do, that's usually something that I'll hand deliver or, um, you know, something like that. Or um, I have obviously mailed out a few because there are three stamps missing. So um, occasionally I will. So you need those for that. But anyway... That's pretty much everything, you guys. It's fairly simple. Um, I do have an address stamp that I stamp down. I can't show it to you because it has my home address on it. Um, I've thought about getting a post office box just so I have one, but it's just not something that I've done. I don't have a post office near me, which is another reason that I like to have all these fun stamps and just mail it myself. I just pop it in my own mailbox when I send out cards because I don't live near any of the post offices, so I always have to make a little trek to go to one. 
Um, but anyway, that's why I haven't done the uh, post office box. But um, anyway, I think it's um, always fun, like I said, to just put a little extra thought. You go through all the trouble to make these cards really special. And so just adding a little extra thought by picking out a fun envelope and a fun stamp. You know, like I said, for some of you that may seem like too much, but to me it's it's just part of the fun of it, you know. And I just think little details like that are sure to make someone stay, make them smile. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what I do. Um, that's not to say that that's what you should do, but that's how I mail out my cards. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more suggestions for videos in the future, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. I l always love to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah. All right. See you soon in another video. Bye-bye.